Basic planes and hope of Gurupur to start the game. Yeah. That's I have to hit you and then set. Target player who is dealt combat damage. Haven't seen Eddie the intern on stream in a while. Crowd favorite, I would say. Hope of Gurupur shot down in combat. Urza's Saga gets played. Gets its first counter. And Ingenious Smith getting dazed. This uh, mono white painter deck is not one you see frequently, I would say. Most painter players are playing mono red these days. But Eddie kind of uh, put this deck on the map, I would say. In years past, if you've been with us, you've seen Eddie play this deck quite a bit on 90s MTG. It's a really cool deck. Cards in hand? Six. Six cards in Kaplan's hand. Urza's Saga ticks up to two. Caracas. And Painter. Force Pitching Days. Okay. Neon, thank you for the Subwood Prime nine months. And Specchio, thank you for the Subwood Prime 18 months. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Ponder for Dave. This is real Urza Saga will pop on the following turn. Sometimes you'll see Eddie find Grindstone. We did not collect lists at this event, so we don't have Dave's list posted in our Discord, but maybe we can dig that up later if people ask in the Discord. Urza Saga ticks up to three. We're going to make a construct, and then we're going to search. I'm just going to get an activate. <laughs> Okay, we're going to get Soul Guy and Lantern and then activate it to remove the graveyard, I believe is what has been announced here. Um, oh, wait, no. Okay, so it's just in play. It exiled a Force of Will from the yard. My mistake. So a 2 2 construct. Maybe Soul Guy and Lantern. I'm um, going to try and prevent a Merc Tide here. Okay, just leaving uh, Soul Guy Lantern. Force of Will revealed by Delver. It will flip into Insectile Aberration. A fetch, and in response, we are going to activate Soul Guy Lantern. Okay. So Eddie, kind of counting on getting around a Merktide. 
I guess. There's a Nile spell bomb for Dave. There's a lot of graveyard in the main these days, with Reanimator being a top deck in the format. Insectile aberration attacks. It has flying. Gets in a successful hit. Mox Opal currently shut off. Eddie will have to try and turn that back on. Metalcraft. Okay, there is Oswald Fiddlebender. Some of you may not be familiar with Oswald Fiddlebender. Get the text up on the screen. Force pitching Merc Tide. So there was a Merc Tide in hand. Eddie managed to uh, prevent it, I guess, but Oswald Fiddlebender is countered. That Merc Tide did some damage after all, I guess. All right, now Spellbomb pops. Draw a card. It is a wasteland for Dave. It could probably be held back to respect another Urza saga, but nope, we're going to go after Caracas. Caracas down. Caracas should be in the graveyard. Okay, there's an Urza Saga. Cast Oswald. And another Oswald Fiddlebender. Attack for two. Oswald Fiddlebender, not an artifact. Not an artifact. The border can make it look a little bit like an artifact, but it is not. Insectile Aberration continues to swing away, though. Fatal push on Oswald. Not too bad. Draw. More mana in terms of that. Two but also. Yeah. Um, I'll activate this. Sure. Okay, making a construct now to grow the construct. Attack you for three. Yeah. Yes. So two, three, three constructs now, plus an Urza Saga popping on the following turn could be trouble for Dave. Continuing to swing away with insect elaboration. Making another construct now. As there's a saga reaches its third chapter. There are two non summoning sick constructs and one summoning sick construct. Um, search. Okay, now there's a saga. We'll search. So, three total constructs on the battlefield. Two are not summoning sick. Eddie points out that would be the Pokemon card with a die on it, indicating two. Pithy. Okay, flooded strand shut off. Clever. Contracts are five fives. Could be a swing for lethal here. All right, Ancient Den turns them into six sixes, and we swing for the kill. Game one goes to Eddie, the intern. Game one goes to Eddie. Been hanging out with Eddie long enough to know that this mono-white painter deck is pretty damn good against Delver. We'll see how game two plays out. This is fine. All right, one card on the bottom for Eddie. A am to six. Turn one, Dragon's Rays, Channeler, Mishra's Bobble, Surveil. Looked like a wasteland was on top of Eddie's library, so that's a known card now. Eddie will start off with Vile. J. Liddy says, if this is the wrong version of Painter to play, I don't want to be right. An interesting announcement. Okay. 
post sideboard, we may see Meltdown from Dave Gablin. All right, so Wasteland hits this Volk. Uh, I respond. Swords on the DRC in response to a brainstorm. Not allowing the surveil in case I guess it turns on delirium. Eddie's a tight player. It's these like little details you'll see when you see players that are pretty good at this game. Three types currently in Dave's yard. I think there should be phrasing of cards. Uh, instead of opponent, opponent is me. I think it makes people too oppositional. This is a private conversation. I think. All right, Dragons Race Channeler number two. It's in. <laughs> Well, they're spells. They're make believe. This is not a real mother, which I am casting. Okay, mother of runes. No land drop for Eddie. Looks like Eddie is holding an Esper Sentinel. And can't make out what else. Whoop that Nick says can confirm White Painter is more popping than the Olympics right now. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think there should have been a Magic the Gathering event at the Olympics, but what do I know? I mean, imagine watching synchronized swimming and thinking that's interesting. I mean, uh, are these people crazy? <laughs> these Olympic events are such a such a joke. Should be Magic the Gathering in there. <laughs> Mistress Ball will surveil, throws a psychic frog in the trash. Looks like Delirium is on, and we are attacking. <laughs> Bob will use something was there. Dave saw it. We did not. Fatal push on Mother Runes. It's gone. Okay, Esper Sentinel, no further land drop, Eddie a little stuck here, not looking good. First non creature spell. There's a psychic frog. Hope of Gurper. It's something. Eddie, at this point in the game, making plays nobody is excited about, not even Eddie. Trying to chump Psychic Frog to prevent the draw. Trying three damage from Dragon's Race Channeler gets in. And a second Psychic Frog. Okay, there's Grindstone, one half of the combo. It's not over yet. 
A block dragons raise channeler with hope of Gurper. Take two, draw two. Okay, upon her surveil, that gets the scoop. We are going to game three. All right, Eddie will be on the play here for game three. One card on the bottom, it looks like, for Dave. Thinking about it. Okay, completed the mulligan to six. Eddie is on the play. Planes and grindstone. You're thinking like you have a story and memorize every last card in existence. I did. I actually remember. I actually didn't know that. I've never had cast. Like, I'm four against you, but I'm not. The storm drake. Is it energy? Yes. I was the subject of a very contentious judge call involving that card during MH3 prelims. Drop. I'll play wasteland. That's motherance. Mother of Runes, it's in. Can't see what else is in Eddie's hand, but Soul Guy and Lantern getting cast here. Exiling Mishra's Bobble. Then a Mishra's Bobble gets cracked. Dave will look at the top card of the deck, can decide to shuffle here, and will choose that option. So didn't like the top card of the deck very much. Storm Drake. So you don't have to swap it with anything if they don't have any. Just got three two, bro. Yeah. Three two. And my opponent was like, "You can't do that. I don't have anything that you can exchange with that, so it's illegal to cast that creature." I mean, even though nothing on my creature. Even though it's illegal to cast cast as a vanilla. Exactly. That's the famous thing. Your opponent says it's illegal, though. I guess that's. They thought they could put one over on any theater. Yeah. 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 Mother Runes, Grindstone, Soul Guy Lantern. Decent start to the game for Eddie. Also has a Wasteland available for use on the following turn. Looks like Eddie's hand is another Grindstone, an Oswald Fiddlebender, and I can't tell what the third card is. Maybe a Swords to Plowshares? Another Mistress Bobble getting cracked here. Yeah, I think it is a source of plowshares in hand. There are just too many versions of source of plowshares right now, and I can't memorize them all. It's crazy. It's crazy what's going on. It should. I, honestly, it's because from power curve from bottom. I haven't seen it in a minute. Mighty, thank you for the sub with Prime. Five months. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Getting close to Murktide Delve range here. Soul Guy and Lantern will have to keep an eye on it. Here's Psychic Frog. Pass the turn. Draw off the bobble. Planes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oswald Little Winner? There is Oswald Fiddlebender. Mother of Runes is on. Pass the turn. Oswald Fiddlebender can help Eddie find Painter Servant on the following turn. Something to think about. What about if Psychic Crab was a demon? Johnny says, is Soar's the most iconic magic card outside of, like, Power 9? Hmm. I'm not sure. Not sure. It's probably more like Soul Ring or Command Tower or something like that, if we're being honest. Uh, 
You can tell who's like completely out of touch when they're they think cards like Brainstorm, Dark Ritual, and Lightning Bolt are iconic magic cards at this point. <laughs> they're just so clearly not to most magic players, but whatever. Ooh, meltdown for one. This is pretty good here. Pretty good. That'll wipe out Grindstone and Soul Guy Lantern, which Oswald Fillenbender was hoping to use. I'll just draw off this. Yep. And Grindstone will be destroyed. What is this? Three war formal war. That's Okay, drew a card off Soul Guy Lantern. Grindstone dies. That was a that was a pretty good meltdown there. Okay, there's another Grindstone to replace. Still close to combo for Eddie. One of my Favorite or least favorite, depending on your, uh, depending on how you want to look at it, things from recent years is like people so proud to play what they believe to be Magic's most complex format that rewards knowledge of the game, like Legacy. Complaining that there are just too many cards now is just, uh, it's something. Um, I believe that was consigned to memory. Yeah, okay, so uh, Grindstone was actually countered. Source of Plowshares on Psychic Frog. Here's a ponder for Dave. <laughs> Oswald Fiddlebender and Mother Runes still live on. But Eddie has no artifacts on the battlefield right now, which, which hurts quite a bit. Version of whatever creature topics we're talking about. Ponder shuffle for Dave. Oswald Fiddlebender is a nasty one. If you if you uh, don't respect it, it will get you. Roberts in the chat excited that Eddie is back. Yeah, Eddie Eddie is with us for a while. Psychic Frog. Wasteland. Waste your waste. I like that play there. I like that play. Trimming Eddie down on mana does multiple things here. You you make it harder to activate abilities and activate grindstone and all right, second frog jumping here. Try to combo. Looks like there's a painter servant in Eddie's hand. It also turns on days on the current board. I don't know that Dave has one. And uh yeah, protects Dave's own lands from Wasteland. When did it die? Yeah, Eddie in this situation would waste Wasteland in, or in order to unlock Urza Saga. 
That is true. All right, here's Ponder, Cervell. Wasteland into the arc. 10, 10, 11. And a Delver of Secrets for Dave. Okay. Okay. Stores to plowshares. I assume targeting the frog. The frog is gone. Okay, swinging for two with Oswald Findlebender. That will get through. No artifacts on Eddie's board. Delver trigger. Let's see. Nope. Another psychic frog on the board. This one is completely hard to probably alone. Plus, so many judge calls, like, especially with both on. Grindstone getting forced pitching Delver, Cervell. You have Delirium now? Oh my god, yes. Yeah, I just couldn't, uh, game one, I stuck my threat. Game two, I stuck my I didn't have anything sticking in the middle of I think everything was just like dying. When you pat me, my, my next card that I put back on top was explosives, and I'm like, yeah, I don't want this. Like, do I just not take the land? But what's ridiculous? Of course I'm going to take it. It's been quite a game three. I'm not really sure where the advantage bar is right now, but it's probably to the, over to the right a bit. This is not over. We're uh, seeing Psychic Frog get flying. Counterbalance, Cervell. Do you think it was too aggressive to uh, exile uh, Tamio yep. right there? Yeah, Delirium. No, I didn't. Delirium is on. Swinging for four in the air. Yeah. I figured it was like sure. that was the moment. Make it five. Five damage gets through. Trigger the frog. Just a pig. Thank you for the sub with Prime. Just another month. Another month sub. Another month of great legacy content. Thank you, Just a Pig. Couldn't do it without you and all of our other subs. Really couldn't. Next kryptonite. Uh, what? Yeah. No, no, no. no. It's, it's um, if everyone here was playing oh, Sam here. <laughs> I think you played Sacrifice Esper Sentinel. Sacrificing Esper Sentinel to Oswald Fiddlebender. I mean, this is going to be likely a tough matchup regardless of what it's for some day or not. Harry says he thinks Frog sees play if it doesn't draw. Uh, probably not. The draw is what really makes it good. One, the Frog just took over and then just came to and the draw never. I think I tried to kill it at least once or twice. Yeah, I think that guy is. Yeah, it's not a trigger. It's not a really tough sure. threats like that. It's just oh, I'll search for library. Okay, yep. so. searching with Oswald Film Butter now. What do we want? What, what would be good here? Either Sworn Canonist is not very exciting. Yeah, the next card from Oswald can be Bridge. That's true. That's true. Fire Kraken pointing that out. Gotcha. So, because it's an open field, I'm playing two. Instead of Snuff Out and Go I'm playing two. Flying Frog, discard, uh, discard Polluted Delta, gets in for three.
Was that either 12 and then went down to 10? That might have been wrong. Maybe I, maybe I looked too soon. All right, Dragon's Rage Channeler number two. A lot of creatures on Dave's side. The uh, possibility of snaring, ensnaring bridge is real. All right, so playing Painter. Counterbalance trigger. Arrow boys and just try to be more threat dense instead of. Oh, you should get this card. Dude, no, why do you play Dark Patrol? Oh, yeah. Okay, fatal push on top. Not too bad. There are mother runes on the board though. Ah, consigned to memory. Counter it. Painter servant is countered. Fatal push will go in the graveyard. With two mother runes on the on the battlefield, there isn't a lot to fatal push right now. Delver will flip into Intectile Aberration. Is this game? Looks like it's game. Eddie the intern scoops it up. Dave gets it. GG's. GG's. Take a look at this, everybody. Oracle of the Alpha in paper. I'm pumped. I'm pumped.